So, these um, communication skills, the topic one which we have done, that is uh, introduction to communication, topic two types of communication, which last time we did formal, informal communication. Also, we look at the flow of communication and organization. We defined also what is a graphite uh, communication, and we say graphite communication. This is an informal communication which normally uh, practiced by the employees of the company or they do gossip about the, the company, either they are directors, the nature of the company. And we say that one, uh, this graphic graphite communication is the one which carries the, the accurate information compared to other types of communication. So today we are going to look at the visual communication by use of graphics, diagram and pictures. And pictures. So if you have something to, to, to write, you can write a uh, definition of visual communication. So this one is the use of motion to describe or to pass the information. Remember the other types of communication which we use the writing, like letters, report. But now this one, like uh, if you use billboard to advertise that is a visual communication it's a visual communication it is in form of motion it is in form of motion so you can write the definition of visual communication and this saying visual communication refer to presentation of information a presentation of information by use of diagrams, by use of diagram and pictures, and pictures without the use of, of words. Without the use of words. Without the use of words. So it is a form of communication which you pass information uh, through the pictures or a diagram. So we have the main channel of visual communication. So we have five types of visual communication, which is also very important. So you have to write the types of visual communication. So you have to write the types of visual communication, which the first one, let me share here. Yes, this won't let me share this screen. So we have defined it as the presentation of the use of diagram and pictures and other uh, motion movement. So we have the types. The first one is organization charts. Organization chart. So organization chart is a is a diagram which shows the structure of the organization. And we say the structure of the organization it depends with the size of the organization. So you have other organization which they ask board members, the chairman, the CEOs, and other members. But you have a, like a simple organization and a small organization, they only have the director and maybe the aid of the departmentals, like the sales department, the finance department, and also the marketing department. So this organization chart is the one which shows that structure. So it shows the structure of the organization. It shows the structure of the organization. As you can see, it's saying it, they may indicate the function, department, and their section or post. So organization chart may be are presented in a vertical or horizontal format. So if it is a vertical, if you present it in a vertical way, it means it is from the, the CEO down to the employees or from the employees to the, the CEOs. But if it is on horizontal format, this is mean it is uh, on 
you are presenting it with the same uh, department like account and sales so those are the same department different department but at the same level at the same level that's what it's mean as horizontal format horizontal format we are photographs we are photographs as a, another type which uh, it is a reprographics process including copying machine by which photograph can be produced so you can produce a photograph and this photograph you can uh, draw any information or the kind of information you want to pass and then you can post anywhere or share as you do so the people will get to understand what you are you are communicating so we have another type we have another type as a films so this film normally uh, can be hired or borrowed from certain organization or parties they are recorded events and it is presented in a emotional way so mostly uh, this film it's happen in a uh, like those companies which they do marketing they do marketing so you find that they do pre-recording motion of certain communication that if you want to hire then you can go to that company you can hire and they can customize this motion based on what you want based on what you want so it's not necessary that it is the same so it is based on what the clients want not we have the graphic signal and wall charts and wall charts so i think this thing is very uh self-explained so we have posters which posters also fall under the visual communication and posters are important in the following ways. So this one are the benefits of posters. So you can indicate the benefits. Then the first one you say in places or business where workers are illiterate. So it, it helps the people who are not uh, illiterate, who are not literate to to understand the, the information because if they, they will not be able to read and write, then these uh, posters can't be able to illustrate. So that is the want of the advantage. It is, uh, it is good for illiterate. Another one is on road posters are used to give road signs and traffic signs. So also um, help in reducing the accident through the road safety because they use the posters they use the posters so those are the types of visual communication so they are five so you have to write to explain it but when it comes to exam if you have the past paper you can check how examiner uh, ask those questions how examiner ask those questions let's look at the past papers if we have any question concerning topic two Turning topic two, because topic two is covering what? I say topic two, covering the formal and informal communication, the flow of communication, graphite communication, internal and external communication. So let's look at some of the questions from that topic. Yes, so if you if you have the past paper, you have the past paper, you can open November 2015. You can open November 2015. That is question one. Question one, uh, question five A, question five A, November 2015. So just indicate at the at the bottom of your note, your book, the questions. The first one is uh, November 2015. November 2015, question 5A. So the questions read, outline five characteristic, outline five characteristic of a well-structured, no, that one is another one. Uh, question 5B, question 5B, sorry. Say, give three function of downward communication in an organization. 
these three function of downward communication in an organization. That one is under the, the flow of communication in an organization. That question is coming from flow of communication in an organization. That is give three downward uh, function of downward communication. So you have to understand downward communication, we are communicating from where to where. Downward communication, it is from boss or the top, uh, top management of the company to downward communication to employees. So one of the function is giving instruction, giving instruction. Another, another function is passing the information. If there is any memo, like there is an holiday which come, then it is the communication start from top going downward. So we say that number one, giving instruction. Number two, if there is any notice, there is any notice. And then another one, it is a uh, decision making. It is decision making. You find that the top management they give you, you make suggestion, you make suggestion. At the end of it, they are the one who will make the final decision. And this final decision has to be communicated downward, just to be communicated downward. So that is the, the three function of downward communication in an organization. So communication is very easy. It is very easy. What you need to know is to get this concept. And when it comes to exam, just be open mind. And uh, it is not that lazima zikwekwa umeandika, no. Do keep up with that function. Now our notes are kuna is a function. So it's something that you reason. It's something that you reason. We have, let's look at another question. So I hope you have indicated that one. Indicated that one. I'm trying to get some question for topic two. So there is, a, there is one in December 2014. There is one in December 2014. That is question 7A, December 2014, question 7A. So the questions are asked with, with reference to downward communication, with reference to downward communication, comma, summarize four requirements, summarize four requirements of an effective order. Summarize four requirements of an effective order. Summarize four requirements of an effective order. Of an effective order. So give me one of the, give me one answer or two answers for that question. That is, with referring to downward communication, comma, summarize four requirements of an effective order. Jaribu, Jaribu, Repeals, Samoja, Apo. So examiner here is just playing with your mind. It's simply asking for uh, principles of effective communication, principles of effective communication. Remember downward communication, is a form of communication. So communication applies there. So examiner here is asking for pre, uh, effective principles of communication. So for an effective order, there should be a time in that communication, there should be a time. Also the information should be complete, information should be complete, and also it should be accurate. So it is the same, same, uh, it, the same, same answer you are giving. So it's only that, 
examiner trying to play with your evective order. And also another one, it should be uh, from top to down or from the top management to the lower management. So communication is very, 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 very easy, very easy. This is the easiest topic in foundation level. We have another question, May 2014, May 2014, May 2014. May 2014, we have question five. May 2014, we have question 5B. Question 5B ask, describe four features, describe four features of graphite communication. Describe four features of graphite communication. Describe four features of graphite communication. Mm. Graphite communication. So what are the features? So the first feature, So, so the first characteristic is it is informal. It is informal. It is informal. The second characteristic is um, it is practiced by employees. Practiced by employees. It's practiced by employees. Another characteristic also, it is face-to-face -face communication. It is face-to-face -face communication. They are asking for four, four features. So we have said the first one, it is informal. The second one is, uh, it is practiced by employees. Then to the that one, we said it is, um, say to the that one, to the money. So the first one to miss, Nangoja, we just do the first one. Saiza tuliandika tuki tuki fanya tuki fanya form of communication te so just angalia kwa notes
So if you look at our notes, we give the definition. We give the definition to, and uh, say it. We give also the, the disadvantages and advantages. Advantages and disadvantages. So from that, you can uh, give the features because we didn't give the features. So you can give the features. So what are the other features? So another features you can say it's uh, in terms of distortion, some for distortion, or it's give sometimes it gives the wrong information. So it, it carries a distortion. Distortion. Also, we have a quick transmission of information. It is faster in terms of transmitting the information. So if there is a gossip in an organization within an hour, you will find that everybody will have that information. So it is the it is faster, is faster, is faster. So those are characteristic of that type of communication. So if you look at this question, they are very easy. They are very easy. So we have another question again on the same sitting. Is it the same city? No. This is May 2014. May 2014. Question 7C. May 2014, question 7C. So it's asking, explain four reason. Explain four reason to why horizontal communication. Explain four reason to why horizontal communication could fail to achieve desired results in an organization. Could fail to achieve will fail to achieve the desired result in an organization. To achieve desired results in an organization. So horizontal communication, we say it is a type of, it is the form of communication, which is uh, practiced by the same, by the same, the same department, and it can be either diagonal or lateral form, can be either diagonal or lateral, or lateral. So if you have been asked the reason why it may fail, then to give uh, disadvantages. So if there is lack of co co cooperation within the departmental head, then that horizontal communication might fail. That horizontal communication might fail. Also, if there is no uh, organization uh, structure, if there is no organization structure, you find that you just wake up and communicate directly to your boss. You don't consult the, your departmental before you go communicating upward. So if we don't have that organization structure, then automatically that horizontal communication will fail. Another factor which might cause this horizontal to fail is which one? Which one? Maybe uh, in terms of time, in terms of time, so like lack of uh, timely communication, you find that maybe like a procurement department, an account or finance department, they should communicate regularly. So you find that the procurement department have already uh, procured a certain product. They have not informed the finance department, but during the payment, now they want the finance department to pay that immediately and the finance department, they don't have that information. So time also is a factor. It depends with how you will explain during the exam. So it depends with how you will explain. So in communication, there is no specific answer. So it depends with your explanation. Depends with your explanation. So I think that is a that Topic we can uh, we can go ahead and look at some of some of the questions so that as you read you you know these questions in Akuja so that you just don't read a lot of literature and find that exam in a different way so make sure you use these past papers it will guide you.
it's very deep. It's very deep. So I think I can't make um introduction to oral communication before we stop. So communication, this one to me, Tayshara, you can see young and your syllabus. Young and your syllabus. And hello, what can you to manage the two hours, but we are moving. But you see, we are starting to pick three. That is the meaning of oral communication. That is the meaning of oral communication. Look at the importance of oral communication, types of oral communication. That is face-to-face, -face, telephone, the features of this oral communication, and effective listening. What are the, some of the skills you need to have when listening or when speaking? And then we have interviews, ties, purpose, preparation, and contact of interview and we have persuasive communication. Then we, after that, we go to topic four, that is non-verbal communication. After non-verbal communication, we go to writing skills, public speaking, group stream communication reports. So it is not uh, like we have a lot to do. And so that in these topics already you know, so it's only to add some of the new content. So like, if I ask you, what is an oral communication? What is an oral communication? So without even having this note, you can define what is an oral communication because it is a type of uh, communication which is passed by the, by the word of mouth. There is no writing, there is no writing, there is no writing. And if someone asks you what are the importance or the benefit of oral communication, so it is the faster mean of communication it also uh, applies face-to-face -face communication, face-to-face -face communication. Also uh, good for illiterate people, people who don't uh, know how to read and write. Also for those, Nita Nini Wale Waski. Ama Wale Wanaski Haoni. So those impaired people or, yes. So Kiangalia easy. It is very easy, very easy. So examiner here will ask you to define the oral communication in business. And oral communication in business refers to sending and receiving of message, sending and receiving of message or information by use of spoken words, by use of spoken words. So oral communication requires that the sender and the receiver communicate with each other by the, by that use of mark. Of mouth. So another, so the sender will not use mouth, the receiver will not will use the written communication. So what they must apply the oral communicate, oral communication. Then uh, disadvantage advantages of this oral communication, we have already said there is a physical uh, proximity. There is a physical proximity. Remember when you say a proxy, here we're talking about proximity. When you say a proxy, if you send, uh, if there is any meeting and then you send someone to represent you, that is, we say it is a proxy. But now this one needs you to be there so that you can't communicate. So there is a physical proximity. Another one, it allows for instant exchange of ideas. So you get the immediate feedback. You get the immediate feedback. You don't wait for maybe some hours to get the feedback. You get it feedback immediately. And another one, it is um, easier or it just the persuasive uh, language. It is a persuasive language. So when it comes to the disadvantages, difficult to control when large members are involved due to a uh, lack of cooperation. So if you have a, a large group of members, each and everyone try to 
to give to to give what he or she knows on, it will not be effective in the group. Also, lack of time to think through because the receiver or the, the, the sender needs an immediate feedback. So it will not give you enough time to digest so that you give the feedback. Another one is lack of preference. There is no record keeping for these oral communications. We think that we will stop there for oral communication, then we continue from next class. Make sure you are trying to take this first papers and just pick Zile Tumesoma, Una Unatik, Ukandika and Dika some short answers there. In Sema, easy past papers to print. So come on, Baruna Soma soft copy. Just to see this modem is two hours, two hours. So Singoja T, what we need to examine the ones that could print easy past papers. Afana, start printing now. It's only three months. So if there's any question, there's any question you can ask. 